Welcome, welcome. Tuesday night, we're just really happy to be here. This is our Celebrity Watch, episode number three, and the goal is to see what's being worn out there. And I think it's really interesting because I see a lot in the stores and I see what celebrities wear and I want you to know what's going on. I think as we sew, we have so many options and it's really fun to be able to choose what we want and know what's current and fresh. So we're gonna get started. We got a lot of pictures, probably too many, but I, <laughs> I, I would have had more and I just thought, okay, they, they get it by now. So I didn't wanna beat a dead horse. So thanks for being here, we really appreciate it and it's a lot of fun. I appreciate all your feedback and your good suggestions and it's just a great community, so thank you. So we're gonna start with jackets, spring jackets and really there's, I can really kind of pare it down to four different jackets. One of them I did not have and I felt really, it was really important to have it and so I put out a new pattern. This morning I released a new pattern and it's the one I've got on, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but it's all over the place and I, I'm sad that I didn't see it coming, um, but certainly we can have it, um, we'll have it by mid-May. Once we get the pre-sale done, we'll have it by mid-May and it's a quick sew and it's gonna be fun and easy. Now these four jackets, all of these jackets that we're gonna talk about tonight, none of them have shoulder pads. These are all, we call them jackets, and yet typically they're blouses or coats. I mean, like the trench. We've talked about the trench a lot. The crop trench is really popular. I know you're seeing it a lot. It's all over. Um, it's a coat. It's actually a coat, so it's got a bigger armhole. It's meant to go over. But the other ones, which are gonna, we're gonna do the jean jacket, the bomber jacket, and this new um, Josie's jacket, those are, those are all really blouses. They, they're worn over, they can be closed or open, you can be, wear them either way. But they're, um, they're just really super because, like for instance, a jean jacket, bomber jacket, and the one I have on, um, Josie's jacket. All of them are, as you can see, you could wear them open, you can take them off, you can, they're just real, they're not dressy, they're just perfect. They're perfect for spring. I, I don't know how else to say it. But I thought what was interesting as I kind of researched these different jackets, I knew I wanted to do it on jackets, I knew I wanted to pull in fabrics that went with those jackets so that you could marry them together. And I was really surprised to see the fabrics, what they're made out of. And so that's the reason for the pictures is so that you can really kind of take this journey with me and maybe you won't be as surprised as I was but hopefully you'll see that we've got some really great options here for you at some really good prices. Our, our prices tonight, I, you know, I'm try, always trying to lower prices as low as I can. are going to start at $12.99 to 20 I think is the range. There's Some might be a little bit higher but that's kind of the range that we're in tonight. Um, to find the fabrics, and I'm going to talk about the fabrics as we talk about the, the jackets, just so that we can pair them together. So you'll go to silhouettepatterns.com. You'll go to fabrics. That's one of the tabs, kind of not the very top, but the next section down. Um, and then view all and scroll all the way to the bottom. And our sequencing tonight is 3500, so we've got 3501 through 3521. We've got 20 fabrics. And again, I think this is really fun. It just gives you a little glimpse as to pattern and fabric and what to put together. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with this, um, this fabric. Now this fabric I put in, so what we're seeing right now is grays and creams and olives. Now all of those are kind of considered, I guess, neutrals, but they're very strong. And they, they are mixed in with a pop of white. And I found that to be very interesting because if you didn't know it was spring, you could almost take the background and put it in for fall and say, hey, that would work for fall, except that fall doesn't have a white shirt. Fall has typically a, a black shirt or a cream shirt or something along those colors. So I found that to be very interesting. This first fabric, though, is really just meant to kind of go with it. We have had this particular one. There's two fabrics we've had before. This is one of them. This particular fabric, this is 100% viscose, and the grays and the whites work so well together that I wanted to bring it back in because we've got a lot of grays. And it, this is kind of a gray and an olive, and it goes with both. So it's a really great companion piece. Rather than going the white shirt, as you're just going to see in these photos, you could do a um, this kind of grayish 
you know, little print. It's a lightweight print, so this would be 3501. So let's start looking at some of these photos because what I want you to see is I want you to see, I think we start with a jean jacket, I think. I think. Well, well, I'll know when it comes up. I'll know. Okay, it starts with a jean jacket. So it's with the jean jacket, but I want you to see the different fabrics they're made out of. And I'm going to tell you a strong fabric, and I, we saw it a little bit last fall, but it's really coming in, it's strong for spring, and it's, it's for spring, and it's going down into this fall. It's going to be, I've already bought um, fabric, corduroy. I've already bought fa uh, corduroy fabrics, and there's a wide whale, and it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's really pretty, and I know so many of you say, oh, you know, I'm not going to do corduroy again. but take another look and we're going to look at some of these and you're going to see that they're really beautiful. So this fabric right here is a gray. This is 3502 and it's a gray. It's 100% cotton and it's a stretch woven. And it would, it would just absolutely, it's a, it's a velvet, but it's got a corduroy. It's got a real thin whale to it. It'd be perfect for a jean jacket. I'm going to take it down just so you can kind of see the drape a little bit here. It's really, really pretty. And again, I want you to kind of picture it with white, like a white top. And you can see it just works really well. Whenever you're working with corduroy, there's a nap. But that's, you know, that just means you want to lay all the pieces the same exact way. So that's not a big deal. If you're really worried about it, you know, maybe get an extra yard. This is 100% cotton, and it's a stretch woven. All right. So that corduroy and what we're going to find, and I'm going to kind of jump around just a little bit. And I, I know don't, you guys don't get mad at me, but this fabric right here, and I put it here because it is not a corduroy, but it is meant to look like a corduroy. And it's a very fine, this is a, like a, blue, a navy blue and an olive, or a little bit of gold. It's really incredibly pretty. But it's, um, I think this is, I think it's 100% cotton. I'm stretching ahead. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. It's a woven. Let me just pull it out here so you can see a little bit better. And this would be a great bomber jacket. It would, you know, it would be all of them. Any of the jackets. It would be the trench. It would be all of them. And this was really the goal for me. So you can see with the navy in there and with a little bit of kind of gold, it would do really well with jeans. But it's just a perfect little jacket fabric to go with. Um, again, that little white t-shirt, okay? And that would be um, 3510 is what that is. So then I wanted to do a little black because black works so well with so many of these jackets. And to do a black jean jacket would be wonderful. To do a black bomber jacket would be wonderful. Um, and we had a fabric that was similar to this. It was swirls. We called it swirls, but it sold out. So this is 100% cotton. It is a stretch woven. On jackets, I don't know if you need a stretch woven, but if you are using a stretch woven, you can definitely go down a little bit in size. So this is 3503, and you can see how pretty that, um, that pattern is to it. It's got, a, it's got a linear line to it through the waves. Just very pretty, 100% cotton stretch woven. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's look at the next picture that we've got here. All right, so the jean jacket. We're seeing the jean jacket, and I wanted you to see this. We're seeing it out of a lot of texture. So not just normal jean and denim. We're seeing it out of a lot of texture. And you can see the pairing is with a lighter jean or a white pant or lighter. So the jacket itself is darker, which gives it, when you think about it, it gives a little more life um, than to make it lighter and it, it takes it almost all year round, depending on where you live and all that kind of stuff. So let's look at that next one. And there it is again, a jean jacket, this time a little shorter, but notice again the fabric, the materials, just really kind of different than what I would expect to see. And these popped up right away. It wasn't like I searched for different jean jackets. I mean, these really came up as I was looking for spring 2024 jean jacket combinations is kind of what I searched for. And so let's look at this next one. There we have it again. You see the colorations, they're dark. The fabrics are dark. They're paired with lighter pairings. Even in this case, a dark shirt 
but a light jean, and you can see it doesn't look, it looks spring, and it comes up under spring. So I really found that to be interesting. So I'm gonna do one more, I think in the, yeah, okay, we'll stop there. Okay, let's take a look at some of these fabrics because they're really, these, these next ones are gonna be really good for jean jacket or bomber jacket. Bomber jackets are gonna come up here in a little bit. Um, but I want to look at these, this textured fabric. This is a cotton poly. It is um, really just a really cool fabric. The texture on this is really something else. It has stretch in one direction. The way of the stripe is where the stretch is. And it's just good. It's, it's narrow. Um, it's got a great hand to it. It's obviously it's a jacquard. This is not a printed weave. This texture is jacquard. So it's a very pricey fabric. I mean, we're not charging a lot for it. This is fabric number four, I think. Yeah, 3504, and it's 14.99. So, it, and then there's a similar one I wanna show you. This is kind of a, a two-tone gray, and this is kind of a gray and a, almost like a gray and a cream. I don't know, really, they're both just really unusual and really different. And you guys know I just love unusual stuff. I just think it has the capability of, of really offering us so much. And in honor of our eclipse yesterday, we're definitely doing some additional black fabrics because I've got some black fabrics that are really simply beautiful. And I'm hoping that I know y'all couldn't, probably everywhere couldn't see the eclipse as well as we could see it here in Dallas, Texas. It was amazing. It was just really exciting and it was really fun. Um, so this is a denim. It's a denim by definition is a twill weave with two different color threads. So we're cheating just a little bit because this is a denim weave. It's a twill, but it has two black threads. And this in particular is a, a silk and a poly. So typically denim is not silk, but this is a really beautiful, we don't have a lot of this. Um, there wasn't a lot of it, but I love it. The fabric number is 3505. And you can see it's just got a great drape to it. It's a stretch woven. So, I mean, as far as a jacket would be incredible pants. But I think that I'm going to introduce to you the new pattern that we have. It's called Josie's Jacket. And when we were in Italy, we went shopping and went to this one particular store, and one of the ladies tried on this jacket and it was beautiful. I mean, it really was beautiful. She did, didn't, she ended up not buying it and she ended up not buying it because of the fit. Um, I took pictures of it on her and the fit just wasn't what she wanted it to be. It was a little bit too oversized. She isn't really tall. And so she just decided that it wasn't what she wanted. And so, I decided I would do the pattern because as I started looking around for it, I, you know, I just missed it. So what it is is it's a safari jacket, or you could call it a cargo jacket. It's got several names to it. But as I went through the history, and um, you know, this gal sent me the history on it, and I looked it up, and it was partly some of what the Marines, the the women in the military wore. But even prior to that, it's been around for, me, for over a century. It's been around for a very long time. And interestingly enough, Chanel, when she originally did her jackets that had two pockets here and two pockets here, it's reported that that was her um, inspiration, was this cargo or military style jacket. And so it's interesting to see, and we're gonna look at a couple pictures here um, and so that you can see that transition. But let me answer these questions here for just a second. Gray corduroy for spring. Yes, absolutely. Gray, it's not sad. It's gray and white is a beautiful combination. Gray and cream is a beautiful combination. So gray is, I don't know, it's a gray color. <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel like it's sad. That's too bad. These jean jackets look oversized. Is that the new style? Um, it, it, you know, oversizing has been in for a while now, just kind of the oversized blouses, and um, it, I don't, I, I would not recommend it. I don't think it's a positive look. Even if it's in style, you can still wear the style but pair it back to you, which is exactly why, like I said, the gal in Italy did not buy that jacket. I took pictures of her, and when she looked at herself, 
and saw what she looked like in those pictures, she didn't like it at all. She didn't like um, how wide the shoulders were. She just didn't like it. And she goes, I, I don't want to spend the money. I would spend the money if I liked it, but it doesn't fit. And so she tucked me into making a pattern. <laughs> all right. Um, so how many yards needed for Josie's jacket? So just two. I mean, depending on your size, again, two, roughly. It depends on how long you cut it. And it depends, like this one that I have on, it, it really, the jacket itself, the pattern, is a little longer. This one I did not cut as long. And I did not put, there's four pockets and four flaps on, two here and two here. And they're scaled smaller at the bust, larger at the hips. So it just kind of depends what you're going to do with it. But I would say either two or three, depending on size. I use two. And my fabric, I should give you my fabric that I've got on, is 7237. 7237. So going back to the gray and the sad comment, the whole reason I wanted to show you this was that there are um, not, everything is bright and cheery. It's how it's blended in together for spring. And I really like it and I think it looks really good. So I want you to kind of think a little differently about how you see it and what you pair it with. And that way a jacket, for instance, can go a lot longer period of time in our wardrobes. Okay, so let's look at this next one. This next picture. Yeah, so this, this goes into exactly what I have on. The longer jacket now, a safari look. So I wanted to kind of show you different looks of this. Let's go through a couple more pictures so that we can just see what it looks like. That, that's a Chanel jacket and there, where, what started to be the inspiration from these military style jackets. And they, they cut them shorter, obviously. They took the collar away in most of the cases, and that became the famous Chanel jacket. So let's go to the next one. And there you see, it's just lots of different ways to do it. I wanted to keep it simple, but still stylish. The band in the middle, I didn't feel like was necessary. And I kind of, Luisa Spagnola is the Italian designer that we saw it at, and that's kind of was my inspiration that I stuck to because I just loved that jacket. And I actually loved it on the girl that had it on. I can see why she didn't, but I thought it looked really good. <laughs> All right, next one. There we go. And so there, there we kind of see, even paired with shorts, it's just a really good look. And it is very classic. And it is very, um, it just looks great. Again, I pared it down and size-wise. But you could always go a size up if you wanted to have a little bit more oversized feeling I had I mine is my shoulders are at my shoulders and I could certainly make it bigger if I wanted to if I wanted to go up in size all right let's look at that next one okay I want you to hold off on that one let's go back to the last one okay so those those that grouping right there was um, the pattern number is 724 and it's just on pre-sale you can only get it during the pre-sale we're not going to keep this pattern in stock and it's just from now, it's for one week, now until next Tuesday, okay? Do I change fashion colors now that my hair is gray? Yes, ab no question, absolutely. As we age, our skin changes color, our hair changes colors. If you haven't done a color analysis, I don't do them, but I've got on the site where Roxanne does them, and she does them very easily. She does them over email, or you, know, you send a photo, she's very good at it. She includes a swatch of fabrics that you can, or colors that you can try out. So you can visit that. Um, I think it's under classes and lessons and stuff like that. Anyway, it's under there. But yeah, as we change and as we dye our hair or don't dye our hair or whatever, things definitely change from when we're, when we're younger. Um, would that pattern call for a masculine fabric? It is. Yes. Yes. You see it. A lot in solids, it doesn't mean it couldn't be something else, but you see it a lot in solids, corduroys, um, masculine fabrics, plaids would work well. And I've seen everyone from Melania Trump, Jill Biden, I've seen them all. I mean, I was amazed <laughs> that I hadn't seen this jacket before. I thought, okay, I've, I don't know how I missed it, to be honest. It's such a classic jacket. It should be in the line permanently, but our inventory levels are just too high. So we're just going to put it for a week. If you want it, get it and then we're done, all right? Okay, what recommendations? I, I honestly would recommend Roxanne getting a color analysis. It's $250, she gets it all, I don't keep it. Um, 
I, I did that because I felt like I wasn't qualified to do it, but I know a lot of you look for it to be done, and I think it's hard to find a person who's good at it. So that's why I put Roxanne on the site, and she'll kind of hook you up. And, and there's probably those who are watching tonight who have had it done by Roxanne. You guys can speak up and be honest. I don't care good, bad, or indifferent what you say, but I think she's helped a lot of women. Okay? Okay, so this one is 3506. Again, great trench, great bomber jacket, great safari Josie's jacket on all of them. This is a cotton poly. It's a woven. There's no stretch to this one. It's a great texture. Both sides are beautiful. Both sides can be used. And so kind of that's what I was thinking. I put this one in 3508 because it's a beautiful, um, I think this is, Sorry, you guys. Yeah, it's a cotton poly. It's a beautiful cotton poly. But it's a great way that if you didn't want to go white, you could pick up, this looks beautiful with gray. You can see the colorations of the gray and, what, and that I put it in here. And it's a very light weight summery fabrics. A little while ago, I remember I said to you all, I love summer colorations in winter and I love winter colorations in spring. Like spring lightweight fabrics, but with those winter colorations. I just think it's, it doesn't make sense to me to only wear, you know, pastels in summer, you know, whatever. It's, it's fun to change them up, and this is a great fabric to change them up. It's got great drape. It's just really a beautiful fabric. And then we have 3508. I love this. This is like a reversible. Um, this could be a great, I, you know, I had in mind a little trench, but it could be so much more. It's, it matches itself, so you can see it's plaid on one side. It's a Pontaroma-like. It has stretch in both directions. It'd be great pants. There's just a lot of versatility for it. It is a cotton poly, has two-way stretch, but it's, like I said, it's like a Pontaroma weight. And the checks are really small enough that it, I don't even think, you know, if you put them like that, I don't even know if you'd have to match. You probably would. Just put your hems together and, and work up, and I think you'll find it to be very simple as you go. I put this black in again because, um, again, we've got a, you know, we don't, these blacks, like the couple that I have, there's such few yardages, I was kind of worried that, they would sell out. This one is 3509. This is 100% cotton and it's woven. And I know somebody who always is looking for black denim woven. So I'm putting this up for you. It's a twill weave. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it's a really deep black and it's, it's just really pretty. It's a four ounce it's definitely a jacket weight or a bottom weight. And it's great. 100% cotton, like I said. All right. My war with the fabrics. The fabrics are winning. Okay. Let's go on. Any questions? We can. Okay, so what I want to do, even before we start into the bottom row, is I want to make you aware we've talked about grays and we've talked about mixing them with with wines or with whites. The other color that I want to bring to your attention with these spring jackets is the olive green. Um, and I could have shown you 400 pictures of olive green jackets for spring. It's a strong trend and I want to make you aware of it. So we're going to look at some jackets. They're all olive green. And like I said, <laughs> you might get tired of this. I actually cut out more than a lot. But <laughs> I just really wanted you to get the vibe that there's a lot out there and I wasn't, I don't know, I guess in the store I don't recognize them or I didn't see them. I mean, I buy olive green fabric. I've got some beautiful fabrics here. But um, for some reason, I re haven't really seen that as a trend. And olive green was definitely not in the forecast of colors. But boy, it's on people, on their bodies uh, quite a bit. So we're going to look at, oh, let me ask these different. How is this jacket different from Milano's jacket beside the front closure? Oh, it's all over different. It's... There's so many differences. Um, yeah, I mean, just go through. OK, I guess that's not fair to say that. Um, Milano's jacket has all kinds of tabs in the front, and it's a zip up. The collar is put in. This is a notch lapel. So the lapel is inserted between the facing and the front. 
Um, um, this has a sleeve like the jean jacket. It has a two-piece sleeve with a cuff. It's more like a blouse as opposed to that jacket Milano's. Milano's has a hood. Milano's has a curved bottom in the back. Um, so I see a lot of differences as far as the structure of the jacket goes. So sorry, pattern number is four, uh, 724. 724. Where can I find Josie's jacket in the pattern list? Um, if you just put in 724 at the search, it should come up. But uh, I guess I could answer your question better. If you go to top patterns and then tops, you know, like 100 series, and then scroll down to 724, just be sure to click on the 195, which is your tops. And then if you scroll down, put, click on view all again. Otherwise, you have to go through all the separate pages. Yeah, and then just keep, then just go all the way down to 724. I think it's 724. I, I hope I'm giving the right number. Maybe I'm not giving the right number. <laughs> We're doing it now just to make sure. 724. Yeah, there you go. Josie's jacket, 724. The cover is in production, so we don't have the actual cover. But those photos are pretty good. Okay. Okay, there's no shipping on that price. That price is just total. And then when you go to the cart, the cart won't add any additional shipping to it. But you could at the top just put in 724, and then that will come up in the search bar. You can do that either way. Okay, so I'm going to go back over this top row just to kind of remind ourselves this is 100% viscose, 100% cotton, 100% cotton, cotton poly. This is a silk poly, cotton poly. Cotton poly, cotton poly, and 100% cotton at the end. Okay? Okay. Can the belt be replaced with elastic casing on just, oh yeah, you, know, I don't have, you don't have to do the belt at all. You don't have to do the belt. I just, here, I'll take the belt off so that, <laughs> oh, I can't take the belt off. I put the belt on because it's got my microphone, you guys. Sorry, I can't do that. No, the belt is completely optional. It's, it, the belt's not part of the pattern or anything. I just did the belt because I always need a belt for these webcasts because I can't put my pack on. I have to dress for the microphone, so it <laughs> has to include a belt. You guys probably think I get out of bed in the morning with a belt on. I really don't. I just, like I said, I have to. And there's elastic in the back. You know, I just have to put this pack on. So, Okay, are we okay with that? Okay, okay. let's go bottom row. It starts with 3510. 3510, and I showed you that. This is, I'm gonna kind of tuck this fabric, these fabrics out of the way. 3510, I'm really excited about some of these fabrics down here, you guys. This is that kind of, it, it's just a stripe. It's not a corduroy, but boy, it sure looks like a corduroy. It's a really pretty color. It's, you can see it's kind of incandescent. I would, I don't know if there's a nap, I would pretend that there is, and I'd make sure that I put everything one direction. If you look at it closely, there's a little linear, and the linear runs with the selvage, so I would make sure you ran your pattern that way, but it would be a really fun pattern to put the pieces in different directions, to put the front one way, the back one way, the sleeve another way. That would, it would just be really fun. So I'm in love with this purple. I had a customer in here Saturday, and we sold quite a bit of this purple, but this is what's left. Whenever I'm selling to not you guys, I don't know what the deal is, but I feel guilty. I feel guilty for selling fabric in the store on Saturday when it's not you all. Now, I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it just feels like I buy this stuff for you all, and yet sometimes, anyway, this is a beautiful deep grape. It, it is, I'm hoping you can see the texture because it's absolutely stunning. This is a a cotton silk and a poly, and it's only $18.99. It's really well priced. So this texture, one of the things I noticed in some of the jackets we were doing is the texture is really popular. Any kind of texture to, which is why corduroy is coming back because corduroy is just probably the most common textured fabric we have. But so this is a cotton silk poly. It's a grape color and it's beautiful. It's a cotton silk poly blend. Okay. Then I put this black in here because I think the black goes well with all of it. And this particular black is stunning. It is a knit. 
it is kind of that black we're always, always looking for because it's the drape on this is just incredible. So this is 3512. It's 100% cotton, okay? And yet you can see that, so it's got stretch in both one direction, one way stretch. And you know those like, you know, let's say if we decided to do um, the bomber jacket and we wanted a ribbing, this could be the ribbing, or if we wanted just to do it in a solid color, it would just work really well. If we wanted to do the sweater set, it would work. It's just a really great fabric and it has great drape in it. 100% cotton, it's beautiful. It's just got a, it's really piece, pretty piece of fabric. So black to me is a little harder always to sell because it's black and it's a little harder to see, especially a blob on the picture. So that's why I put some blacks in here. And that particular black, um, that black, it's still a really good price for the 100% cotton. It's really a good price. This one we've had before. I brought it back in again because I felt like um, this is a silk and a cotton. I felt like for the jacket that I have on, for the new jacket, this would be such a beautiful light blue safari jacket, the Josie's jacket. This is um, a light blue. It's a silk and a cotton. I, I wish you could feel this. It feels like a cashmere. It's beautifully soft. It's got great drape. It's just the perfect weight for a little lightweight jacket. It really could go year round, you know, obviously depending on what you're pairing it with, but it's really pretty. Okay, light blue, and that's 3515. 3513, I'm sorry, 3513. I'm messing you up. Before we do that, though, I didn't get to show those olive colors. I want to show those olive colors. I got sidetracked, you guys. So let's, yeah, sorry, you guys. So let's show these um, photos. Of, I want you to see these olive green, and, and I want you to notice what they're being paired with and what they're being, um, you know, just notice the details. So this is, um, you can see olive green. Notice the wine, the jeans. Just great, just a great combination. All right, we'll look at the next one. Olive green, black. Again, looks very summery. Olive green, cream. Olive green, the lighter colors. So olive green really works as a base, and you can go anywhere, you know, either way with it. I think that, that's what I wanted you to see with the black, and that's what I want you to see with this one. And then olive green, the next one, I think. Yeah, and I think, is that the last one? Just one more. Okay, so I just wanted you to see those and just see the differences. Notice all these jackets, and they're all spring, they're all current, and yet they're those darker colors. So I just kind of wanted you to know. The grape number is uh, 3511, 3511. How many yards of fabric can make Josie's jacket? Either two or three, depending on if you want to do full on pockets and all of that, you probably need three, just for the extra pieces of the pockets. So depending on your size, these are two or three. Could you show 2504 up close? We can do that, yes. We have to figure out which one it is first. Oh, it's this one right here. And I'm gonna kinda go like this so you can see both sides. You know, it's funny because sometimes when we see a fabric and we're here at the store on Saturday, we debate back and forth as to what's the right side and what's the wrong side. And I do think, especially with a jacquard, many of these are meant to be used both sides. And so they're, they're fun to take advantage of that because you don't necessarily need facings. You just want to let the fabric go back on its own and be its own self-faced. So that's, one, that, that's 30, 3504 right there, okay? That's up close. That's cool. See, you can almost like you can just touch it and feel it yourself, huh? You can feel through that camera, can't you? Very nice, very nice. Very pretty, and you can see as it cascades, it shows it'd be pretty to do, you know, in something that folded back like that, because you can see it changes from front to back to front to back. 
very pretty. And remember, like, if you're looking for trims, um, I, I've got an upcoming class that I'm working on, and I wanted some trims, and I went to embellish trims and found exactly what I was looking for. So she's got a, it made me really look at the website. She's got a good supply of trims. Um, embellishtrims.com, I think it is. Okay, so let's move on with some of these grays and olive greens, because I really want to show them to you. This one, we had fun Saturday. I didn't sell all of it, but we sold a good amount. It's so pretty. Now I want you to, I want you to pair this with white. You can see like if you had a little white top on. So it's, it's a jacquard again. It's a dot on one side, and this particular one, this is 3514. So 3514, it's a cotton poly. It's $12.99. But you can see it's got dots on one side, and then as you turned it to the other side, it's got linear, you know, it's lines. So it's dots and lines. It's just a great, it's a great jacket. So if you're doing a jean jacket, you could put these in the middle panel and dots on the outside panel, or you know, you guys know. And again, pair it with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. It's that white that pops that gray up and makes it look really pretty. So even though we have all these spring fabrics in here, you know, I was surprised even Saturday how much we sold of grays. This one too. We sold this one too. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. So this one is 35.15. This is like a Pontaroma. It is 100% um, cotton. It has stretch in both directions. Be a great pair of pants. Great jacket, either one. But it's Pontaroma-like in its feel. It has really good drape. 100% cotton, beautiful piece of fabric light gray and you can see it with a white see see now that gray is happy happy gray we'll call it all right i did the, i put this in because this is 100 percent cotton and it's just beautiful blouse weight you could make a jacket out of it also but i just love i, I just think this is so pretty this is a crepe back satin so you can see one side has a little bit of sheen to it i had this sitting in my car you guys it's a little wrinkled but anyway it's really, really pretty. But easily you could do a little bomber jacket out of it. And remember that blouse I did a couple weeks ago where I used part of the shine and part of the matte. Combine them together. Don't do all matte and don't do all shine. It's pretty when you use both. And it really gives a nice effect to use both. So use all of that fabric. So that's 100% cotton. And that one is 35 I don't want to say the wrong num number. 3516. All right, now this one I put in because it's just per it's it's your white. Here's your white, you know, t-shirt. It's 100% poly, but it has got great drape and it is so soft. It it almost feels like a like I don't know, like a suede cotton. It's got stretch in one direction, not a lot of stretch. But it would be great for just a little white shirt, a little t-shirt. It could go either way. And you can see it really pops with these grays. So I put that in for that reason. You can see it with this. It's just pretty. The purple, it just, you know, white is just a great clean. And white typically is something we only do in the summer. We don't really, you know, spring and summer, we don't really do it in the fall too much. We, we move to cream. All right, and then the next one is 3518. And this is a plaid. And I, I put this plaid in because, you know, everything is good in a plaid. But this is actually an olive green, and it looks like it's got gray in there. So when I put it next to the grays, it looks gray. And when I put it next to the olive green, it looks olive green. It's really a cool fabric. It's a stretch woven. It's a cotton poly stretch woven. It's got great drape to it. So I think as far as a bomber jacket, this would be a home run, do a little black trim. Or what I've been seeing a lot lately with bomber jackets is instead of doing ribbing, they're doing the exact same fabric, but just done with an elastic piece on the inside. So instead of using the a, a ribbing to kind of be the elastic, they're using elastic with the fabric itself. It's a great look. All right, and then we have 3519. This is an olive green. 
And it's a tone on tone, it's tonal. And I'm gonna kinda hold it still because it's really pretty. The pattern on this is a kind of a snaky type thing. It's very pretty. This is a 100% cotton. 100% cotton, isn't that beautiful? It's lightweight. I really want y'all to take a different look at these fabrics. They're just really beautiful. That's a stretch woven. Love the pattern on that. That tone on tone is just beautiful. It'd be an absolute beautiful jacket. I would even maybe do pants with this, make a little suit, and then again, that white, that white going with it. The black, I put this in because this is a 100% cotton. It's, um, again, all of these blacks, I don't have a lot of yardage. We've sold so many of these blacks. This is 3520. 100% cotton, and it's just the, the weave on this, I'm going to hold it still so that camera can get in close. Um, it's just beautiful drape. It would make a great suit. It would make a great jacket by itself. I could see a black bomber jacket, a black safari jacket. Any of those would be really well. Great drape. It's really, it feels like a four-ply silk. It, it feels like that kind of drape. It's just, it's 100% cotton, but it has great drape on it. And this one's only $14.99. So we've got some great prices on these fabrics, y'all. Hopefully you can see that. I love this. I put this as last because I just thought this was, uh, I just love it. So this is an olive green and black combination. We know olive green and black looks great together. It is a reversible. Both sides could be um, used. It is a cotton poly. It is a woven. There's no stretch to it. This, I would go all out and do a trench with it because it would just be stunning. It, it looks like and feels like it would be waterproof. It's not. We tried it, we put water on it, and it, it soaks it up. It, it's not waterproof. But it certainly, you don't wear it in the rain, but it certainly looks really good. <laughs> but I just love this. I think for a crop trench or a trench, it would be perfect. And of course, you could, you know, it would go with so much. An olive green trench would be a wonderful little spring uh, jacket to have. Safari jacket also, that would make a great safari jacket too. Okay? Okay, and that's, um, that was 2521 is what that one was. Okay, so you saw them all, you know about our jackets. Let's take a little bit of time, we can answer questions and see any questions that you all have. This is just fun. It's really fun, and I have really been surprised on this. I really, um, I don't know, I did not expect to, s I've just learned. And so I appreciate doing these because I learn. And it changes up, I, I made myself, you won't see it, but I made myself a darker jacket for spring because I felt like everything had to be white and off white and you know, I had enough of those, but I really wanted something that looked really fresh and current and I really like this jacket that I made. Um, does 3502 have good stretch return? 3502 is 100% cotton. Um, I think stretch return has to do with quality. So, you know, these are all really good quality, you guys. So I would say the answer is yes on that. 3502. Can you make a dress from Sam's blouse? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just lengthen the body. I don't have the pattern yet and wasn't sure where the sleeve stops on the blouse. So we had a gal in here Saturday and she had Sam's blouse on and she had it tucked in her jeans with a belt. So the reason I'm telling you that is the sleeve stops above the waist. If not, you could always move it up a little bit or you could take a little fullness out of the sleeve, but I wear it with a belt all the time. So it's a little bit above the waist and yes, you can just lengthen the body part, great idea. Would you call the white knit an optic white, bright white as opposed to milk white? It is definitely optic white, it is not milk. There's no milk color close to this. This is white. If it's milk, I'll say milk. This is white. Optic white. I like that. We'll call that optic white. Okay. Is the pattern making course the same one you offered a few years ago or is this a new one and different? No, it's not any different. I offered it four years ago. Now I think 2020 
2021, I think, three, maybe three years ago. It hasn't been offered for three years. I had many, many ask me about it, but I have not, um, we have not done it. It is the same class, pattern making is the same. So, yes, you know, all, always the participants are different and the things that come up are different, but I think that's what makes, to me, that's what makes, you all make the class fun. Not me, you. Is 3521 like a taffeta? Um, 3520, yeah, kind of. Kind of, yes. Taffeta is, taffeta is really, really noisy, though. This is not, this has a little bit of it, but not, not like taffeta. Not as much as taffeta, but a little bit, yes. Could you please show the light blue silk again? Of course. The light blue silk is buried. It's right in here. This is gorgeous. We don't have a lot of this left either. Very pretty. Okay, I think we've got everything. Yes, you ready to sew? Four kind of jackets. We've got now the trench, which is 1925. We've got Leslie's bomber jacket, which is 927. We've got Carol's jacket, which is 900. And now we have Josie's jacket, which is 724. 724, those are just classics, all of them are. And the fit on all of them, I, I, I trust explicitly because, you know, the, the three of them are off the base 600. We've done that over and over. I fit these many, many people in many, many classes and they just fit really well. So I know that you'll have an easy time sewing them. That's the goal. Have fun, make up more. Okay. All right, any other questions we can answer? So I had a lady a little while ago say to me that every time she watches, she always has a little glass of wine. And sometimes she says she doesn't hear the end because she's had the whole glass. <laughs> So if y'all are not asking questions, it's probably because that glass of wine is empty and y'all are snoring on me, okay? <laughs> all right, so the goal in all of this is to have happy sewing. Thursday night, this Thursday night, we'll have Q&As. I know for many of you, you've sent me questions and you've sent me them four times. You don't, you know, like I'm ignoring you. I only answer the questions that you come in over the two weeks on Thursday night at Q&As. So we'll do that at five o'clock on Thursday. We'll go ahead and schedule that and we'll see you Thursday night. So we have a lot of Q&As Q already, but if you have any, get them to me and I'll include or try to include them in this one. We try to keep it to just 20, 30 minutes so that you all are watching and learning and, and we'll get that done, okay? I'm late, so what would you make with the lighter blue? I would probably make this the um, Josie's jacket. Of all of them, I think Josie's jacket, personally, I think is the one I would go to. Are the slim yoga pants like a legging? No, the slim yoga pants are, f um, are not like a legging at all. They're like a slim yoga pant. <laughs> um, a legging has to have two-way stretch. And a slim yoga pant only has to have, um, it can, uh, a yoga pant has to be a knit with two-way stretch. And a slim yoga pant can be uh, it has to be two-way, but it can be a stretch woven. So there's a big difference between a stretch woven and a knit, even with two-way stretches in both. They just don't act the same. And I think a lot of sewers have a hard time getting that registered in their brain. They think that a stretch woven and a knit, if they both stretch, they're the same, and they don't. They hang differently. They are different fabrics, all right? So having said that, we will see you Thursday night, all right? Happy sewing from all of us at Silhouette Patterns. Thanks for being here. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'm not sure what else you're supposed to do. Hit the bell. Is that it? Hit the bell. There you go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.